Before felling any trees, find out which environmental regulations apply and make sure that you have the necessary permits. When you've decided to fell a tree, you should think about what you can do to prevent accidents. Take note of everything that can affect safety. Are there any roads, overhead lines or buildings nearby? If so, and you're a beginner, you should leave the job to someone with more experience. If you know that people often pass through the area, you should set up warning signs. Assess the tree and take note of the various factors that can affect the felling. Is the tree leaning? Which way is the wind blowing? Considering the surroundings and ease of subsequent work, which direction should it be felled in? Make sure that there are no people within the safety radius, which is at least twice the length of the tree that you intend to fell. Stand by the tree and decide exactly which direction you want it to fall in. Choose a feature from the surroundings as a guide. Clear obstructive undergrowth from around the tree. Remove branches and other obstacles on the ground. On both sides of the tree, you should be able to walk unobstructed at an angle away from the falling tree and remain there at a safe distance. The general idea of directional felling is that you first saw a directional notch which determines which direction the tree will fall. The directional notch can be made in a variety of ways. The one we're showing here is called the open directional notch. Firstly, you make a top cut into the stem at an angle of about 60 degrees. Saw to a depth of about 20 to 25 percent of the tree's diameter. Then make a horizontal undercut to meet the top cut. Next, you saw a horizontal felling cut slightly above the level of the undercut. It's important that you stop sawing just before you reach the directional notch, leaving what is called a hinge. The hinge guides the tree as it falls. The hinge should be 10% of the tree's diameter, or at least two centimeters wide. How you use the saw when felling is decided in part by the thickness of the tree. First, let's look at what you do when the bar is longer than the diameter of the tree. Stand with your legs apart and lean against the tree trunk with your shoulder. To avoid an unnecessarily high stump, make the directional notch low. Hold the saw at the correct angle and sight towards the physical feature in the surroundings that you selected. It should coincide with the felling sights on the top of the saw. Give the saw full throttle and start sawing. From time to time, check that you're keeping the correct angle and direction. Stay in the same position and make the undercut. Make sure that you meet the top cut exactly. Now it's time for the felling cut. Use either a pushing or a pulling chain. Saw until you have enough room to push in a breaking bar. Make sure you don't touch the breaking bar with the chain when you continue sawing. Leave a hinge that is as even in thickness as possible. Remove the saw and work the bar until the tree starts to fall. The breaking bar is a felling tool for smaller trees. It prevents the tree from falling in the wrong direction and from pinching the blade while sawing.